Hi, I'm Julia Mendulea. Don't miss this exclusive performance by Denver's own Ian Cook at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. First we started. Oh, it's a button start. Dang, we should just drive away in this thing. You're not getting this back. The grand adventure begins, Ian. Yay. There's so many people doing so many things and going so many places, and it all comes from here. Yeah, music and all kinds of artists just sort of flourish here, I think. What does UMS mean to you? The summit of the summer, because you're guaranteed to, yeah, see something you haven't seen before and then run into probably everyone Everyone you know. <laughs> you've ever met in Denver. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Dinosaurs, planetariums, and today, some music brought to you by Ann Cook. One of the songs I'll play today is um, called Quetzalcoatlus, which is uh, the largest pterosaur that we've discovered. Um, it's on the new the album about all these prehistoric beasts that's coming out. I have a lot of um, classical bass knowledge of music, and which I try to incorporate into writing pop songs. The cello, I feel like, is pretty strong as a solo instrument, and um, you can adapt it very easily into bluegrass or um, like hip hop. Then incorporating the loop pedal is super helpful in, you know, creating a whole string section for myself.
Thank you. <laughs> Don't hit the mini. <laughs> Whether you're a musician or not, if you are interested in the Denver music scene, there's so much to check out all the time. Yeah. But UMS is like really your chance to like check out all those things that you just like haven't been able to make it to or totally. whatever. And it's like you get to catch up with all of your friends and it's just, it's kind of like your time to to really delve into all the things that, that you hopefully didn't get to have to miss out on. Definitely.